Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. So today I'm going to be going through a couple of my go-to hairstyles on the days that my hair just isn't refreshing the best or maybe I'm about to wash my hair the next day but didn't quite get around to it today. Most of these hairstyles are very easy. There's one that I'm going to show y'all that's a little difficult. I do use extensions in this video just because I have them and you know my hair is not super long so there's not much I can do with it but it is not necessary for most of these styles to need long hair or extensions. You can do these styles either way as long as your hair is like medium length you know as long as it isn't like a bob style then you are good to go. So if you would like a couple of hairstyles for your bad hair day then just keep watching. Okay so this first hairstyle is very easy very simple it is a top knot bun basically um it's more on the messy side i really like my hair to kind of look a little messier i don't like for it to look all clean and perfect i like for some imperfections to be in it i just feel like it makes it look more like oh i didn't try but really i did kind of <laughs> kind of vibe <laughs> First things first, I'm going to brush my hair out with my round brush that I love. It's from Ireland. Um, it has some hair in it right now. It's disgusting. But it has natural bristles in it, and it just really helps get those tangles out. Um, it just feels good to me. I love this brush. My boyfriend, I tried to brush his hair with this once when I was styling his hair, and he said it felt like needles going in his head so it's not for everyone but i love it so next i just take a scrunchie of my color choice i have like a full bag of scrunchies here um, but i just take normally a black scrunchie just because i wear a lot of black and gray clothing um and i just kind of fluff my hair back up after brushing it and then I pull all of my hair up here. Now, it doesn't have to look perfect at this point um, because I'm going to pull it out in a second, but I gather it all up here. Then I take the hand with the scrunchie on it and I poke my fingers through it like so. This helps me get kind of the messy look I'm going for. So then I take the scrunchie, I push it about halfway this is hard to do slow <laughs> so I take it about halfway I grab the hair in the back and I kind of spread it over and then I pull it through so this is what it looks like at first now we're gonna kind of pull things apart to fix it so first off I'm gonna start pulling this top section out a little then once I've started pulling this top section out, I'm going to start fixing this area. So I start pulling, I like for my buns to look a little loose. So I start pulling my hair out like so. And then I go back to here. I just kind of work back and forth. And I just pull until I get my desired look. This hair, you know, it's being a little funky, so I'm going to just kind of poke it in. Again, we're going for the messy vibe. So when I'm done with that, I will normally pull out some baby hairs. So I'm just going to pull some out right now. Um, at this point, you kind of have the option, sometimes with my baby hairs, I will then go and I will refresh just my baby hairs. I'll spray them, I'll kind of coat them, I'll get a little bit of foam and I'll scrunch them up and they get really curly because they're not being weighed down. So sometimes that's really cute or I'll just leave them like this if I'm being extremely lazy. Um, I'm not gonna refresh them right now because I'm gonna do a bunch of other styles at this point, but just know that you can have that option. Here's kind of an up close of what my hair looks like. Here's what it looks like from the back. And I will wear this to work a lot. 
especially if it's raining outside because my hair does not do well in the rain. With the bun, I also wanted to show you an option to get you a little more fullness in your bun. Maybe you don't have as much hair and so it doesn't get as poofy. When my hair was shorter, I used to use my extensions in this nice little candy bag. Um, I used to use my extensions to get a full bun. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So I'm going to brush my hair out and I'm going to pull my hair up just at the crown. So I'm then going to take this hair and messily just pull it to the side. This is a look. I think I should just wear my hair like this all the time. So I'm going to take one of my extensions. I'm going to brush through it just because it gets a little tangly in that box or in that Ziploc bag. And I'm going to clip it. I can't see what I'm doing, so hopefully you can. I'm going to clip it going backwards like so. See, it looks like that. Then I'm going to take another section and pull it backwards. I'm going to take another extension. Now notice that these extensions are not super long, like they're not the big um, tracks, they're just very small. So I'm then going to take it, I'm going to put it here and here, and then I'm going to brush my hair backwards. Try not to brush your extensions because it will tug. And then I'm going to do the same thing as last time. I'm going to grab my hair up here, pull in halfway, and then start pulling. And this really made a difference for me when my hair was really um, short because I couldn't really put it up in a great top bun. So that's how I did that. I was able to do it. I put more extensions in when I had less hair. So for example, I would put like maybe four tracks in my hair before I pulled it up and it would give me a really voluminous bun. I don't know if you can tell that this one's a lot more like put together, like it's a lot thicker than the other bun. So. I don't know, compare the two maybe. The next style I'm going to do is this half up style. I like wearing this to work. I like wearing it when I have like my casual workout clothes, my athleisure on, I'm just running to the store or I'm running to rehearsal. I will put my hair up like this. Again, I'm gonna start by brushing my hair out. I'm not gonna brush it as much right now because I just brushed it. But I start by brushing it. I then take about like maybe half an inch up from my ears and I start right up here. See that? On each side. Then I drag my fingers up and I gather all the hair up that's like right in front of my crown. It doesn't have to be a perfect line. Um, mine's probably not a perfect line, um, but it just needs to be a decent amount of hair. So then I take my brush and I kind of brush all of my hair in that direction. Like so. I never pull it super tight. Um, and I also make sure it can kind of lay a little flatter. So then I'm going to take my scrunchie again. I have that section of my hair taking my scrunchie 
and I am going to just pull that nice and tight. Then, because again, I don't like my hair to be super flat on my head, I'm going to take my hair, I'm going to kind of start pulling it out to make it a little more voluminous. Doing the best I can without being able to see a lot because I don't have my glasses on right now. So I just continue to tighten and pull. And again, I'm not looking for a perfect look. I'm just looking for it to be kind of messy, but then again, put together. So at this point, I'll either pull out my baby hairs, you know, you can kind of make this look your own. I'll go in and I'll refresh my hair at this point. I like to, um, go in, re-wet it barely and get that foam. I'll take this and I will also put that in my hair just to give it a little bit of volume. I don't really care if it's definition as long as I have the volume to kind of keep my hair up and in the front. So this is the second look from the front. Keep in mind that I would have a refresh. Um, and also from the back, I like this one because I feel like it just, I think it's fun. So this next style is also very easy. It's very messy looking. It doesn't take a lot of effort. You know, you can kind of play with it, make it look messy. What you need is a clip that will fit all of your hair. So if you have really, if you have really thick long hair, then you might need a clip that's slightly bigger. But for me, Using this one right now works. It is not cute. It doesn't have to be cute. If you want it to be cute, great. So all I do is I take my hair back like I'm going to do a ponytail and then I twist it up like this. I then take my clip and I clip it right here. So then once I clip it, I start pulling. So I pull up here, pull back here. I might kind of readjust it a little. Up here. And I just play around with it until I get my desired look. So then I just kind of take out some hairs and I take bigger hairs than I did last time. Maybe some like behind my ear. I might push this one behind my ear. Again, I'm just making it super and extremely messy. And then this is the finished look. This is what it looks like from all different angles. So I really like this one the best when I have refreshed my hair for the day and it doesn't look good. Um, that way it still has a little bit more curl in it than my hair does right now because I have not refreshed my hair yet today. I just kind of jumped into this before I started that. This next style is extremely simple. It's just a ponytail. I like my ponytails to be super high to the sky. So that's the kind of ponytail I'm going to show you all today. So I take a scrunchie. I'm going to take a thicker scrunchie than last time because I think it makes my ponytail a little cuter. Um, and I've already brushed out my hair and I'm just going to take my hair and I'm going to kind of pull it upwards again. And I like to put it a little more off center, if you can tell. And I just pull it up there, take it, and I just pull my hair to its desired place. Okay. 
and then I'll take baby hairs and my makeup needs a little brushing out um so then I will take my water bottle I will take my curl refreshing foam I will spray my ponytail and I'll kind of scrunch it up and then I might take these little baby hairs and also spray them scrunch them up and then I am good to go so this last hairstyle for me highly involves my extensions because my hair is still not long enough yet to do this hairstyle but if you have long hair you shouldn't need the extensions it should be fine I still personally like the extensions even with the long hair because it just gives it a little more volume. So I just brush my hair out and I put my extensions in how I would normally wear them if I were wearing my hair down. I'll kind of show you all that from the back. is not what it looks like when I put extensions in. Obviously they're styled and not like crazy fluffy and gross like this. But I will then, so I make sure that I part my hair on the side I like it to be parted. And what you're going to need are some little clear elastics. Like so. I use four total. What we're doing is kind of a fishtail braid but we don't completely do a fishtail the entire time. So what I do, I take this first little section right here, about that much hair. I smooth it out with my fingers and then I take an elastic and I tie it up. I then take this right here, I part it in the middle here, and I push the ponytail through to make a little loop like this. I then push it up, just a bit. I'm sorry if you hear my dogs barking. My mom is outside doing yard work and they freak out. It's so annoying. So, so just ignore that. <laughs> so next, I take the sections from each side of that and I put it on top. I smooth it and I make it into a ponytail again. Like so. Then I take the part that is already parted this time and I push it through and then I pull it to you. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna start a fishtail braid. So the basis of our fishtail braid are the two ponytails that we made. You put them together, separate them into two. I normally take one ponytail on one side and one on the other side. And then I grab some hair from here and I pull it over. Then 
I grab some on this side and I pull it over to the opposite side. So that is how we start our fishtail. Notice that I'm leaving this hair out. I'm trying to leave out hairs that are going to frame my face. So then I take from the back section of this part of the ponytail and I pull it over. Then I take a section from that same side that's not in the ponytail and I put it over. Essentially, we are creating a French fishtail. So you're grabbing from the ponytail as well as new hair. So then I take from the opposite side ponytail and I put that over to this side. Then I take hair from this side and I pull it over. And I'm going to keep doing this until I get to the bottom of my ear and I'm going to make sure that I'm incorporating this around as well. So I'll kind of show you that as I go. So again, grabbing hair from the ponytail and then I'll start grabbing around like this. Actually, I'm going to grab from here and put it over. Then around. Again, keeping out hairs to frame my face. Here. And I'm pulling it all very tight. We're going to loosen it up later. But I'm going to pull it all really tight right now. So now I'm grabbing from this side. I'm grabbing all the way around. And I'm pulling it to the opposite side. And here, on this side, here, on this side. Oh wait, I missed some. No, I didn't. So now that I have gone to my ear, I'm going to just regular French braid what I have at this point, just a few times, not all the way down. I'll show you where I go to. So I, got, I stop at about here. Notice that I have everything from this side of my head in the French braid already. So then I take another elastic and I tie that off. Like so. The next thing I'm going to do is I am now going to take the rest of my hair that we did not use and I'm going to part it into two like this. So we're now creating a new French braid over the French braid we already have. So I'm going to take some from the back section here and I'm going to put it over to this side. Same here, I'm gonna take some from the back section and put it over to this side. Take some from the back over to this side, take some from the back over to this side, some from the back, over to this side, some from the back, over to this side. And we're essentially getting to where our other ponytail, to where our other ponytail stopped. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna add back in our old fishtail. So now all of my hair is parted from side to side. So now I'm gonna take the back section, pull it forward. Another back section, 
pull it forward. And I'm just going to continue French braiding until I get to the bottom or until a lot of layers start poking out. So now that I'm at the bottom, I'm going to take another elastic and I'm going to tie the bottom off. So now that the bottom is tied off, it is time to start pulling my hair. So I'm going to start with the bottom, kind of work my way up. I'm just pulling the French braid, I mean the fishtail, so it's a little looser. Then I'm going to pull this little section up here so that it kind of melts together. So I'm also going to carefully grab some pieces from the front here to frame this side of my face like so. And now I'm going to make sure that all of my extensions are covered up. I'm just kind of like feeling for them. Now to make sure that this side of my hair does not start slipping out, I'm going to place bobby pins in the back of my hair. So I'm going to take a bobby pin. I'm going to take this section right here is very likely to fall out. So I take it and I pin it. Same here, I feel like it needs a bobby pin. So I take it and I pin it. I think that section's gonna be fine up there. But I will just take bobby pins until I feel like everything is secure. Notice how some of this hair is falling out. That's okay. We, we can go for a bit of a messy look. And guys, this is the finished look. So I'll show you up close. Another thing I like to do with this look is I'll take a pony or a scrunchie and I'll put it at the end just to make it a little more fun. I absolutely love this braid. It makes me feel like Elsa. <laughs> Once you get some practice in, it's not difficult to do. Well guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed these hairstyles. I would love to see your take on these styles. Make them your own. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and go ahead and turn on those post notifications right down there so that you know every time I upload a new video. Well guys, I hope you have a great rest of the day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!